In this video we're going to be taking a look at the lossless scaling frame generation plugin for SteamOS gaming mode on the Legion Go S Z1 Extreme handheld. This plugin allows us to increase our FPS in any game in real time, where we can simply install the plugin, set our game's launch command and run the game where we can change between 2, 3 and 4 times FPS on the fly without needing to restart. I'll be walking us through the full installation process on SteamOS, which applies to the Legion Go S, Legion Go 1, ROG Ally, and ROG Ally X family of devices, alongside demonstrating the plugin working later on in the video. If you'd like to learn how to install SteamOS on your handhelds, I have guides linked in the description for the Legion Go and ROG Ally devices. As always, a big thank you to Pancake Tass for creating the original lossless scaling Linux compatibility layer and to Kurt Heimborg, aka Jason Derulo, for developing the Deki plugin and incorporating my feedback during testing. You can find links to both of their GitHubs in the description. So before we get started, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share this video with others, and let's get started. The first thing we need to do is purchase and download Lost the Scaling from Steam to our internal drive on our SteamOS device. Once downloaded, we want to press the Steam button, we want to go down to Settings, go to System, and we want to make sure to check for updates and ensure that we're on the latest stable channel. Once that's done, we want to go to our Steam menu, we want to go to Power and switch to Desktop Mode. Once we're in Desktop Mode, we want to open our web browser and we want to navigate to decky.xyz and choose Download in the top right hand corner and download the setup file to our downloads folder. Next we want to come over to system settings in the taskbar and then we want to scroll down until we see users and we want to make sure to change our password to something suitable and for convenience I'm going to press the X button and I'm going to simply type deck twice and on the prompt that appears we're going to simply choose leave unchanged. Afterwards let's come over to our downloads folder and we want to choose the Decky installer, choose execute, choose continue and here we're going to be prompted for our sudo or admin password that we've just changed so we want to press the X button and we want to type our password which I've chosen as Deck, and press enter. On the next screen that appears we're going to get the choice of release or pre-release. Now because we're on stable SteamOS we want to make sure to choose release and press OK and now Decky Loader will be installed and once complete we can go ahead and press OK. Once that's installed we want to come over to the Decky Loss the Scaling releases page on GitHub that I've linked in the description and we want to always choose the latest version at the top. So we want to go on lossthescaling.zip and download this to our downloads folder. Once that's all done we can go ahead and select return to gaming mode. Once we're back in gaming mode we want to press the right click access menu button and go down to our Decky plugin icon where we want to choose the cog symbol in the top right hand corner, scroll down on the general tab to developer and we want to choose toggle on for developer mode and on the left hand side on our developer tab we want to choose browse and here we'll get a list of folders and we want to navigate to our downloads folder and inside you'll see the lossthescaling.zip that we just downloaded so choose this and then go ahead and press install and we're going to see our lossthescaling plugin appear in Decky Loader so let's go inside and we want to choose install lsfg vk and you should get two check marks like so to say that they have both installed successfully. Now let's go over the functions available to us in the Lost the Scaling Decky plugin. First is our FPS multiplier which allows us to change FPS in our games by two, three or four times in real time during gameplay and I'll demonstrate this shortly in Wuthering Waves. Our flow scale meter allows us to increase or decrease the resolution of our game's internal image used for motion estimation and by default this is set to 
Our performance mode switches our frame generation model to a much lighter version, which can improve performance significantly on handhelds. And this is enabled by default to ensure the best experience. Our HDR mode toggle is for games that support HDR and it is not recommended to activate this for games that do not support HDR. Under experimental features we have the option to set a Vulkan presentation mode for better performance or compatibility. The options we have available are VSync first in first out and Mailbox. By default VSync FIFO is set for us and Mailbox can be set in game if we wish to exceed the FPS cap set by our refresh rate. Next we have the option to set a base FPS cap for DirectX games only prior to these games being launched so we need to set this before we launch the game for this to take effect. Next we have Enable WoW 64 which stands for Windows on Windows 64 which we can toggle on in combination with GE Proton to allow lossless scaling frame generation to work on older 32-bit games. I have a guide in the description for installing GE Proton if you would like to learn how to achieve this. And disable Steam Deck mode activates Steam Deck equals zero which is a launch command for unlocking hidden graphics settings in games such as Claire Obscure Expedition 33 and many more that have been optimized for SteamOS and specifically the Steam Deck and had their graphics menus locked down, which takes effect on devices like the Legion Go SZ1 Extreme, ROG Ally, ROG Ally X and Legion Go, all running SteamOS. So you still need to make sure to toggle this on to unlock those extra graphic settings. Now scrolling down the list we have our usage instructions, we have the option to view the LSFG VK Wiki for further reading and I do recommend going through this and reading through all of the details provided so you fully understand how the plugin works. We have our launch option clipboard that we can go on and we can choose our launch command like so and go back to a game and then paste it in like so. We have our check for updates button which tells us if the plugin is up to date and if an update is available we can choose this and download the update to our downloads folder and then install all within gaming mode. And lastly we have the nerd stuff button which allows us to check various details such as our loss the scaling DLL, hash of LSFGVK, our detection source, launch script and configuration file. So now the quick tour is out of the way we want to come over to our game of choice and choose the cog symbol for our game settings, go down to properties and in our launch options we want to press the right quick access menu button, come over to our lossless scaling plugin, scroll down to the bottom, choose our launch option clipboard, choose the first one LSFG command, copy like so, press back and inside our launch options we'll get the keyboard appear, go ahead and press paste, close the keyboard, press back twice and we can go ahead and launch our game. Now once we're in game with Wuthering Waves on the Legion Go S Z1 Extreme and this will work for the ROG Ally and ROG Ally X as well as the Legion Go 1 with SteamOS installed, we want to press the quick access menu button and we can see I'm currently on the balanced performance profile which is similar to the Steam Deck at 15 watts. So with that selected I've got disable frame limit applied and you can turn this off if you prefer but I'm going to leave it on for now. Manual GPU clock is off but if we turn this on we go up to 2700 megahertz and we do experience a performance regression as we can see from the FPS. So I'm going to turn this off for everything to go back to normal. We're going to go down to our Deki plugin for lossless scaling and I'm just going to change the FPS multiplier to two times. And we can now see we've gone from around 35 to now 74 FPS. And with two times applied I have the flow scale set to 80% but I can increase this to 100 
and I'm still getting around 70 FPS. I've got performance mode enabled and I've got FIFO VSync set. So I can change this to mailbox. I'm still getting around the same FPS, but if I change to three times, I'm now getting around 90 FPS. So if we go back to the plugin and change from three to four times, like so, we can see that I'm now getting over 100 FPS. So those are just examples, and I'm going to change from four times back to two times, and then I'm going to change the Vulcan present mode back to FIFO VSync. For our in-game settings, I'm on the performance mode preset, full screen, 1200p, and if we go down and change the frame limit to 60, I've got VSync on and FSR on as well, which helps uplift the performance by just a little bit. And the rest of the settings are as followed, and we can tune these as necessary. And if you want to bump the graphics settings higher, I do recommend changing our screen mode to windowed and then coming down to around 900 or 800p it's up to you. I'm just going to leave this on the native selection for 1920 by 1200 obviously on the Alloy or the Alloy X or the Legion Go 1 you can change these to your own individual preferences with the maximum on the Alloy and Alloy X being 1080p and the Legion Go 1 being 1200 or 1600. Another thing I want to go over is showing two times FPS with the flow scale 100% and we're on FIFO VSync. Now what if we change the performance profile from balanced to performance? So now we're using 25 watt, we've gone up to around 80 FPS. And if we turn our FPS multiplier off, do a little before and after, See, normally we're getting around 60 FPS. If we go to two times, we're getting around 80. But if we turn on mailbox, we now get over 100 FPS with two times. And because we've got the 120 Hz refresh rate, it looks and plays very well. In addition, if we want to break that 120 FPS, we can go to three times, and we can see we're now getting around 150 FPS. 130 to 150 give or take and if we go in again change to four times we're now getting sometimes 200 FPS so have a play around with that see what settings you get on all of these devices and I'd love to hear from you in the comments or the discord with your results so I hope this guide was helpful with getting lossless scaling installed on your favourite SteamOS handheld device. And if you've tested any games with the plugin, please drop a comment below with the game name, your experience and the settings used. You can also join the lossless scaling Decky plugin discord linked in the description to share your results, feedback and get support if you're facing any issues. And before we end the video, I want to give another massive shout out and thank you to Pancake Tass for her original creation of the Lost of the Scaling Linux compatibility layer, which has made all of this possible. A big thank you as well to Kurt Heimbork, aka Jason Derulo, for creating the Lost of the Scaling Decky plugin and for incorporating my feedback after extensive testing. Links to both of their GitHubs can be found in the description if you wish to learn more. All of the methods shown here today are ready to use, so please dive in, experiment and share your results. So if you enjoyed this video and learned something new today, I'd appreciate if you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. Have a wonderful day, look out for one another and I'll see you later.